Hello children. In this video, we are going to learn about excretory system in human body. Do you know what is excretion? It is nothing but the process of removing the waste formed as a result of metabolic activity inside the body is called excretion. That is, inside our body, we have some process to remove the waste products which are formed as a result of metabolic activity. This is the excretion process. To conduct the excretion process, there is some organs inside our body, that is the excretory organs. All organisms have special organ called the excretory organ to get rid of their harmful waste. Excretory products in human body is our five types. They are nitrogenous waste products, extra salt, bile pigments, excess vitamins, carbon dioxide and water. Do you know what is nitrogenous waste products? This is the breakdown of excess of protein produces nitrogenous waste such as ammonia, urea and uric acid. These are removed through the kidneys. Our body needs salt only in certain amount. Excess salts are excreted mainly through the kidney and sweat glands. Sweat glands in our skin also remove urea, salt and other metabolic waste in the form of sweat. Then bile pigments. Bile pigments are formed in the liver by the breakdown of hemoglobin in dead red blood cells. They are mostly released in the faxes while some is excreted in urine. It also converts the toxic ammonia produced in the cells into urea which is less toxic. Urea is then carried to the kidneys from where it is excreted. That is the pile pigments are formed due to the hemoglobin breakdown of hemoglobins. Then excess vitamins. Excess water soluble vitamins are also excreted along with the urine. Then carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide produced as a result of respiration. We know that what is the respiration? The inhale of oxygen and exhale of carbon dioxide is the process of respiration. Excess water is excreted through kidneys as urine and also excreted as sweat through sweat glands in our skin. So the carbon dioxide is removed by the lungs through the nose and the water excess water is excreted through kidneys as urine and also by sweat as sweat through the sweat glands then parts of excretory then parts of excretory system in humans so there are four parts that kidney and ureters this is two part uh, kidneys right kidney and left kidney then this is ureter and urinary bladder then urethra Next, the kidney part. These are a pair of reddish brown bean shaped structure that are located just above the waist and the either side of the backbone. They filter the impure blood and produce the urine. These are here we can see the right kidney and left kidney. Both are in reddish brown color and it is also in bean shaped structure. So these kidneys are filtering the impure blood and produce the urine next part is ureters ureters this is these are the narrow tubes that lead out from each kidney these tubes carry urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder next urinary bladder it is a pouch like muscular structure in which urine is uh, stored temporarily that, that is, the key. urine is stored in this urinary bladder temporarily. In an adult male, average capacity of the urinary bladder varies from 150 to 300 ml. Next part is urethra. It is a tube-like opening at the bottom of this urinary bladder through which urine is passed out. Then structure of kidneys. Each kidney in longitude section show two distinct regions and outer dark region called the cortex and the inner lighter region called medulla. Inside each kidney, there are millions of microscopic filtering tubes or units called nephrons 
or uniferous tubulus. So here in kidney structure there are two part one is cortex and medulla. Cortex is the in outer dark region and the inner lighter region is medulla. And also inside the kidney there are millions of microscopic filtering tubes or units called nephrons or uniferous tubulus. Then nephron, structure of nephron. The nephron is a functional unit of kidney. Each nephron consists of a cup-shaped structure at one end called Bowman's capsule. It extends into a long urinary tubule that is surrounded by the network of renal capillaries. This is one renal capillaries. The urinary tubules of nephron in each kidney join to the form of common tube called urethra. Inside the Bowman's capsule, there is a network of blood capillaries called the glomerulus. Inside the Bowman's capsule is a network of blood capillaries called the glomerulus. The Bowman's capsule and glomerulus together form the Malpighian body. And there is some common disorders of the urinary system. First one is urinary tract infection that is an infection that occurs in the urinary system. Urinary tract infections usually occur when bacteria such as E. coli enter the urinary tract. The infection usually starts at the opening of the urethra where the urine leaves the body. The bacteria can travel up to the urethra to the urinary bladder where they multiply and cause an infection. If the bacteria reach the kidney, they can cause kidney infection that can become a very serious condition if not treated promptly. That is, the urinary tract infection is caused by the bacteria. If the bacteria is increased, then the problem will be very serious condition if not treated promptly. So, the infection usually starts at the opening of the urethra where the urine leaves the body. The bacteria can travel up the urethra to the urinary bladder where they multiply and cause an infection. Then kidney stones. Kidney stones are formed due to the accumulation of dissolved minerals that stick together form, forming a mass in the kidneys. They, they are formed when the urine becomes concentrated and contains more of calcium oxalate and uric acid. The size of the kidney stone may vary very for every minute to minute to as a large size of 2.5 cm in diameter. The main cause of kidney stone is a lack of water in the body. Stones are commonly found in individuals who drink less than the recommended 8 to 10 glasses every day. Of 10 glasses of water every day. When there is not enough water is to dilute the uric acid, that is the uric acid is the component of urine, the urine, then the urine becomes more acidic and excessively acidic environment in urine leads to the formation of kidney stones. So the kidney stones, the main reason for the kidney stone is lack of water. The recommended water for every day intake is 8 to 10 glasses of individuals when there is not enough water to dilute the the process of water the purpose of water is to dilute the uric acid uric acid is the component of urine if the urine becomes more and so the water if the water is not enough to dilute the uh, uric acid then the urine becomes more acidic and the excessively acidic environment may cause the formation of kidney stones then these are the symptoms for urinary tract infection. The person suffering from UTI, that is the urinary tract infection, may have a burning sensation while passing the urine and the frequent urge to urinate, pain in the back or lower abdomen, cloudy and strange smelling urine, fever like feeling if the infection has reached the kidneys. Then the uh, symptoms for kidney stones are the Severe pain in the sides of the abdomen, blood in the urine, nausea and vomiting sensation, reduced amount of urine excreted, burning sensation during urination, persistent urge to urinate. Okay children, today we learned about the excretory system in the human body. So the next video we will meet with some other lessons. Thank you for watching. Please like and share the, my video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.